Well, hello there, guys. Popping in here very quickly before I have to go to work. Um, hope everyone's doing well in chat. We got Androids going second pick. Walter's second band. For those who don't know me, I'm Gordon. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Androids will protect S2 on the sequence number 3. And Walter with S7, which will be Ghosts of Play, I do believe. Now, I don't know much about all these maps. We only got to get dug. Whoa, whoa, we only got to see <laughs> a couple over this past weekend, and hopefully, we'll be seeing a whole lot more. Android's gonna be banning S13. Agony. And then Welter banning the blasphemous sum of the dummy god creation. Probably angling into that S7, if not... Maybe S1? Going into S3. Got Yuga ni Sasuke. Sakase. My bad. It's early in the morning. I just popped in here very, 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 very quickly. Starting off with some Toho. Love me some of that. But yeah, as I was mentioning yesterday, um, very excited to see more act based tournaments come up, and especially in a speed skill set where accuracy can be challenging at times. Because people can't. People can or can't. <laughs> shred uh, super quick, and I guess. Where am I going with this? Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, um, Shredding Marathon. I think this is going to be the second longest map in the pool next to TV. Should be fun as we get right into it. Yes, so Yuga Sakase. A map by Jonathan LFJ, or actually I guess this is a collab between Trust and LFG, both of the kind of longest standing Canadian mappers and bat members who have existed. Very old classic ball. Oh, hi cheese. This one definitely going to be a bit more on the tapping intensive side. I mean. Speed on, speed on any kind of like aspect is just very tapping intensive, but we do have a pretty early one act gap from Welter. Early break coming in from Anroy's really does show kind of the caliber that about 270, 277 BPM can have on a person. Pretty fast BPMs, and only very few people can effectively get away with it. But Welter really just giving a good masterclass on what a kind of like top speed player can produce. But this 1% act gap, not budging too much. 
Okay, with two-thirds of the map left to go, anything could still happen. This map itself, um, honestly fairly consistent in what it really gives from between the sliders usage, spacing, and triples to longer note bursts. Nothing too out of the ordinary for, like, a typical kind of, like, uh, Toho Demitori, uh, kind of style of a map. Finally budging to a 2% accuracy gap. Constant act drops on the side of Androids. Not really favoring him well. But we do have one third of the map left. And anything is possible, realistically. Both are finding the ever so inconsistent 1 100. I think both S3 and S1 share similarities in the level of, like, consistency and some aim. On top of, like, the blistering, like, BPM speeds. Two percent is quite a margin to make up going into this last fifth of the map. Into that final kind of key eye section. And none of them really dropping Ack. Oh, but Anroy's finding a little bit of a break near the end. Walter going ahead with a 3% accuracy gap. Close to 3, anyway. And a very great finish for Walter here. A little bit of an accuracy drop. Getting into this last huge burst section. A little bit of a speed change. But we are going to have Welter taking that first point on S3. Cool. Very, very cool. Very curious to see where Anroys will go from here. Maybe with that protected pick? Potentially. Anroy is going into that S1. Again, as I said, it is a little bit similar to S3 in a way of playstyle. Better time on this one with the BPMs being a little bit slower. But again, pretty much another heavy aim, aim tapping consistency type of pick. Note that each both or both nomad with both the nomad or the DT picks in this pool. Hidden is always optional. You can always use hard rock as well, at least on these nomad ones, according to the rules. Yes. Anro is off to a great early start. Welter not having the best of luck, but anything is recoverable. Definitely tough to 
go from one BPM to the next. I frankly have an issue with that. We all have our comfort zones. And maybe 255 is Anroy's comfort zone. But Welter is catching up a 0.7% difference. You won't really expect them to drop much accuracy on the aim elements. It's just coming out of those aim, coming out of the aim and into the actual bursts. And then we got like a little double swing section in here. Oh, and we're actually finding some act drops. Welter taking the lead gonna be a close one. Oh, nev- oh, actually, it's staying so close. Getting into this final big burst section. Anything can flip-flop, it's honestly so close, and I think we did see a uh, breakpoint from AKNZ X against Korean Maluko on this point, too. Actually, that might have been the speed of Link. But Anroy's fumbling the bag right at the end. 1% accuracy gap. Welter holding out. Welter taking a second point and a break point. Wonder where we will go from here. Gonna go into that protect S7. Ghosts play to audience or to the audience. Now this is a fun one. I think also the first time this weekend that we are actually getting to witness uh, this pick as well. This is one of two maps that is that have the lowest. Ah, well, I don't think we got to see it on stream, but hey, good to know. Or I might have missed it. Anyway, um, one of the two lowest AR maps in this pool. Love playing this map on Nomad. A little bit of alting. A little bit of finger control. A little bit. By a little bit, I mean the whole thing is just finger control. <laughs> Doubles, quads, and quints. Coming at 222. Definitely a more lenient comfort zone for both of these players, but getting the finger control out is definitely going to be a challenge. Anroy is having a pretty early bad luck. Looking more on that aim front rather than the tapping. Welter taking that 2% back lead. Hitting all these wiggly streams. Welter breaking through that triple section. Oh, 
5% act difference going into the last half. Welter just running away with it. Alter finding a break near the end. But it's gonna have to lose a whole lot more accuracy just than that. Android's just not having any luck on aiming these goofier patterns. And tapping on that as well. Very great score from Alter. Six percent ending difference. Welter up three. Could be the potential time for Anroys to go into that protect. Didn't already I think he might have already. I wish we had a way to view the protects. I think Anroy's used it off the rip. Oh no, he protected S2. My bad. Yes. My brain. I remembered. <laughs> On my own. Sorry. Yes. Going into the S2. Alright, Jodo speed up. First for me ever seeing a Raijoto break core. I'm excited about this. Or a, a Raijoto art core break core? Interesting. We are getting into it. This is going to be one of the one of the three shorter maps on the side of the pool. Or one of the four, anyway. It's me in the picture. Kidding, okay. okay. <laughs> Yes, we have a whole bunch of matches today. I think we got a Raphis. We got a Raphis match. Everything is so like out of whack. Honestly, wish that we could uh, have a better view on things. Yeah. So we got we got Welter and Anroys, we've got Tomas Cheek and Penguinzi, as well as Mathy and Plox. I think that ma match got moved actually. A lot of matches today. Again, check out that main form. You can view all the matches there. But to get back onto it, this is very, very close. Anroys. Really scooping it out here, but that act drop is gonna put it back into Walter's favor. Still gonna be super close. Anything could happen too. Anroys just needs to hold out. Walter's dropping accuracy, but so is Anroys.
So close. Last few notes. And nothing swaps over Welter capturing yet another breakpoint, but that's gonna be the closest one. The closest difference. Score-wise, Anrise would have won, but accuracy is the name of the game. Very, very close from both people. Oh my. Welter. Wait. Oh, we got a point issue on stream. Uh, <laughs> very, very close. Anyway, Welter to wrap it up. Final pick. Ending it with S6. We're gonna get Stoic Hy Hypothesis. Great map. More finger control. Quite honestly, one of my favorite songs in the pool. But yes, really just uh, finishing this one off quick. One minute is not a lot of time, especially to hold accuracy. Hi, AR reading some rhythm. A little bit of rhythm anyway. Majority just high BPM burst control. On top of the high AR. Getting into it, potentially the final map. Welter opting to put hidden on. Definitely difficult to hack the beginning here. Welter and Android is on pretty equal footing when we get actually get into it. Probably be another really close one. Android's edging it out. 2 thirds of the map left to go as we get into the first high burst condensed section. Walter taking it ahead. This is going to be one of the most tradiest picks of the entire competition right now. But Welter holding it out. Anroyz has a lot to make up for. Missing that full burst, Welter. Still a 3% act difference going into the last, like, 6th of the map. Oh, but I don't think it's enough time. Nothing of high density to really mess anyone up, and Welter is just going to take this 5-0. Congratulations to Welter. Great job to Enroy's. Honestly, a couple of very close points, especially on that last, like the last two maps. But yeah. GG's to both players. Thank you affirmed for streaming this match, and I just popped in as soon as I could. Um, thank you everyone for watching. In 34 minutes, we're gonna have Raphis. We're gonna have a Raphis match with Amacetic. A match that you do not want to miss. Until then, I've been Gordon. If we got anybody coming in for that match. Oh boy. Please enjoy it. See you guys later.